I'm not going to sit here with my finger to my chin and say nobody understands me. Yes, there has been a lot of remorse. Would you agree that those crimes are wantonly vile or inhuman? I won't disagree. It seems to me that you're suggesting that had the police done their job, had they followed the leads, had they really been on your case prior to April 2nd, 1988, they would have caught you and some of the suffering could have maybe, been prevented. Maybe not caught me. Scared me off, maybe. Serial killers are sexual psychopaths who kill for sexual gratification and power over their victims. They are cowardly, they are weak, they are quite often heedless and tremendously arrogant to think that they have the right to take another human life. My initial thought was that uh, it was a couple of homosexuals that had probably had a lover's quarrel. Gather around all you chillin', I got a story I wanna tell. It's about the next door neighbor, I great just found in hell. People didn't want to hear about it, they thought he'd done an evil thing, but they wanted to put it behind them and move on. It was an accident, a freak. And I think we've seen since then it's not. He seemed exotic. He seemed like some sort of world traveler, eclectic. He was just an evil son of a bitch. Bob the Boogeyman. He won't wake up from this drain. He's Bob the Boogeyman. No one can hear you scream. Bob the Boogeyman. He'll wipe your eyes clean. You know he's dead. Bob, Bob the Boogeyman. I have cats. I'm James Elroy. I'm a novelist. I'm a journalist. I'm a short story writer. I'm a screenwriter. And I'm here to introduce Ben Mead's Bonnaroo film about sex psychopath and serial killer Bob Berdella, who terrorized Kansas City, Missouri in the late 1980s. Mm -hmm.